Psalm 97. The Lord reigns. Let the earth be glad. Let the distant shores rejoice. Clouds and thick darkness surround him. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of his throne. Fire goes before him and consumes his foes on every side. His lightning lights up the world. The earth sees and trembles. The mountains melt like was before the Lord. Like, I'm sorry, the mountains melt like wax before the Lord. <clears throat> before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim his righteousness and all the people see his glory. All who worship images are put to shame. Those who boast in idols worship him, all you gods. Zion hears and rejoices, and the villages of Judah are glad. Because of your judgments, O Lord, for you, O Lord, are the most high over all the earth. You are exalted far above all gods. Let those who love the Lord hate evil, for he guards the lives of his faithful ones and delivers them from the hand of the wicked. Light is shed upon the righteous, and joy on the upright in heart. Rejoice in the Lord, you who are righteous, and praise his holy name. Amen. Amen. So let's do a breakdown of this. <clears throat> the Lord reigns. Let the earth be glad. Let the distant shores rejoice. And he is the Alpha and the Omega. He reigns. <laughs> he created all things. He reigns. He is holy. He reigns. He is righteous. He reigns. He is love. He reigns. Whew. Blessings all around. Hallelujah. Amen. Man, that is the past, present, and the future. He reigns. He is the good shepherd. He is our Lord and Savior. So rejoice and be glad. Sometimes we need that. Sometimes we need that in throughout our day, throughout our day, even in good times, to understand where our joy comes from, to humble ourselves and understand and realize, wow, I had a successful day. It was a really good day. Thank you, Lord. I, I greatly appreciate it because sometimes, you know, Sometimes, unfortunately, the joyful days are far, far in between, you know, and sometimes they feel like they're few. But when you do have them, remind yourself. And then if you continue to have them, still remind yourself that all good things come from above. So think about that. Think about in your life. <clears throat> think about things that also bring you joy, whether it be your children loved one, a pet, <laughs> uh, uh, the, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, Squirtle the turtle. <laughs> um, you know, a chinchilla, the other Bible study, it was a couple of Bible studies ago. <laughs> I was thinking of the animal and it just popped into my mind, chinchilla. So back in school, long time ago, <laughs> like, you know, just like three or four years now, I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm only 19 now, I'm just playing. Um, <laughs> um, we had, uh, we uh, in different times, you know, different grades and stuff, one particular grade, we had uh, chinchillas and they were really interesting. They were really interesting to watch because um, they weren't hamsters. They weren't like mouse or rats or anything like that. They were really furry. They like to clean themselves on volcano dust. Or, yeah, so very interesting. Think about those times of joy. What brings you joy? What brings you happiness? And understand that there is a person, there is a God who wants who provides that for you and wants to can do it and wants to do it for all eternity, for all eternity, that joy. Think about that joy. You know, we get it and it comes and goes, right? <clears throat> sometimes it comes and goes. Sometimes it comes and goes really fast. Sometimes it comes and we may have some time with it and then it dissipates, you know, that thus is life, right? When we get to eternity, that joy 
is eternal. <laughs> Just by having faith in our Lord and Savior, that it's eternal for all eternity. Whatever it is, your health, your, your well, everything, your well-being, everything, that joy, you will, that joy will never. And you know what? When the joy subsides, that's what the devil wants. That's what the devil wants because he's jealous. <laughs> I mean, I mean, uh, one, I mean, one basic. Uh, <laughs> we're created in, his, in the Lord's image, <laughs> and then not only that, but the Lord did everything to make sure to, to defeat sin. You know, he did for us to make sure that he would have us and spend his eternity with him. <laughs> so. Do you understand? Lean in. Get close to the Lord. Experience that joy. Experience the Holy Spirit. It's love. Whew. <clears throat> what kind of thoughts or feelings come to your mind when we read over this? How does it make you feel and what does it make you think? 